Hello everyone, hope you all are well. In this third and final video of the Bebop 2 4.4.2 firmware review, I would like to talk specifically about the BMS system. In my previous video, I flew in strong winds and very cold conditions. So in order to not leave that negative taste of an estimated short flight time with the new update, I had to make another flight in normal to light wind and temperature conditions to form a broader perspective. What I mean by this is your flight time will always be dependent on your atmospheric conditions like wind and temperature. So here is the flight in normal conditions and not too cold. I had a little help from my partner's brother. He is a young and very confident pilot. So a huge thanks to him for helping me out with this video because without a second pilot I wouldn't have got my b-roll footage. Merci Kylian pour ton aide ce jour-là. In order to make this video as quick as possible, I had to speed up most of the flight just to show you that the flight was actually made. And we can see as we come towards the ending of the flight, our battery drain was not as rapid as it was in the second part of the re firmware review in cold conditions with a lot stronger winds. We decided to take the drone down soon after this because We've reached out 20 minutes and I think to get 20 minutes on a Bebop 2 in good conditions is really uh, a good thing. So we put the drone down at 20 minutes and we had 30, about 30% 30 of battery remaining. Now to the interesting part which is the battery management system and we can see how they evolved over the different firmwares. You may be asking how I got this data, well it's simple, I exported the flight data and the flight telemetry data and I opened the CSV files which stores all the data which has been pulled to the log file. And in this log file I look at I look at the battery state and I start to calculate the time difference or the runtime from when critical battery starts until an automated landing. The opinions are subjective and I can only theorize based on my experience. All of these flights were conducted with the same parrot 2700 milliamp battery over the span of about six months or so in different conditions. So this is not a scientific test in a control environment. This is normal flying in various conditions in real life applications. The first firmware I will look at is version 4.2.1 and in this firmware we flew from 100% to 1% battery drain and got a flight time of 21 minutes and 46 seconds. Low battery warning came in at 9% and critical state lasted 21 seconds before landing. In firmware 4.3.0 we ran the craft from 100% to 1%. Flight time was 22 minutes and 28 seconds. Low battery warning came in at 2% and critical state ran for only 1 second before emergency landing. In firmware version 4.3.1, we flew the craft from 73% to 3%. Flight time was 9 minutes and 13 seconds. Low battery warning was then increased to 8%. And unfortunately, we have no critical state because I landed the drone before critical warning. In firmware version 4.4.0, we flew the craft from 100% to 1%. Our runtime was 19 minutes and 2 seconds. Low battery warning came in at 9% and critical state lasted for 21 seconds before auto landing. We can see the exponential power drop in the graph from about 40% to 0%. We have now reached our latest firmware which is what we're using now 4.4.2 and immediately you can just take your eyes to the graph and see the very smooth curve of the power drain. See the blue curve it's not exponential towards the end. We flew from 99% to 3%, flight time was 24 minutes, 19 seconds. Low battery warning came in at 10 seconds and unfortunately critical state was not available because I landed the drone. 
To not leave you in despair, I searched deep and found another flight, which I did under 4.4.2. The battery run was 100% to 1%, flight time was 27 minutes 17 seconds, low battery warning came in at 10%, and critical state lasted for 2 minutes 19 seconds before auto landing. I hope this video has given you some insight as to the progress in which Parrot is making with regards to the battery management system of the Parrot Bebop 2. Yes, they did have some hiccups with the previous firmwares and its programming, but I think with the latest firmware, they have improved it a lot. Please note that these opinions and views are just my theories, my personal theories, and it is based on my experience. You can go through your flight logs and check your graphs and your data if you have them backdated to previous firmwares and compare them and see for yourself how it is changed. As always, thank you all for allowing me to share my experiences with you. If you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, write them in the comments. And if you would like to support my videos and help me grow my channel, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. Until next time, fly safe and God bless.